All right, welcome back. Now, still the Golden Money Ninja Show. Yes, and we don't give you some headlines of things where they happen inside Nigeria. And um, also, we don't give you some business and um, some um, stories where they happen um, outside Nigeria, too. Now, time for us to meet the guests where we get for inside the studio. A lot of people, they come outside, um, raise awareness on how they want to make youth participate for inside political matters for We Obodo Nigeria. Now, joining us in the house, we get the president of Youth for Honors and Proactive Governance. Join me, welcome, Kalu Ugu inside the Good Morning Ninja said Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to have you. Thank you. Before we talk about um, waiting another do to make sure say you enter political affairs, tell us a little bit about youth for honors and proactive governance. What do you mean? Um, uh, <clears throat> youth for proactive leadership is a group of uh, youth that comes together believing that they can champion their cause by themselves as a youth without being afraid and without being influenced by any God for that reason. We want to believe in practical things by the youth by themselves. What we can do by ourselves and influence ourselves by ourselves. That is our aim and objective. Okay. And you think it's possible to, you feel, say, is it possible to scrap out God for that reason? Very, very possible. We have tried it several times. I mean, for instance, I mean, and last... You tried, but was it successful? Yes. Okay. In last election, even in Lagos, yeah, we tried it in last election, 2011. <coughs> and my word, PDP won the two councillors because it's the candidate we brought by ourselves and said, let them go to present us. We voted and we defend the vote and the vote was counted and the two candidates won in mainland. The records are there. The problem the youth are having, they say vote are not counted. It's not true. Vote are counting. So it is only when we remove the fears and stand. Nobody can come outside. It is only those that are inside will always sabotage themselves. But they really believe mm -hmm. in themselves. Nobody can sabotage you inside. Because you that are living around that environment knows who is Mr. A and who is Mr. B. Whenever C is coming in, you should raise a lot. Mm. So it's very, very possible. Wow. All right. Now, we don't get um, this new bill where everybody don't already focus on this and not too young to rule. And we don't see a lot of youth showing interest in politics. What do you see happening in 2019? What do you they foresee? Um, uh, <clears throat> it's very, very possible because everything has gone to digital. IT has gone to digital. Politics has also gone to digital. Why I say so, if you look to the Western world, you can see their president in 30s. 31, 39, understand? And, and you know we are quick learners. Nigerians are also learning in political um, aspects. So we will also replicate that. Come 2019, with what our group are doing, we are going to have more new youth that are going to participate into elective positions. Okay, I would like to ask, at what point in your life did you become um, um, inspired or when, when you be the, passionate to want to join politics? What thing happened? Or was this something you were born with or something where you just wake up one morning and say, this is not what I want to do? Politics is, um, uh, is what, when I was born, while I was growing up, you know, I developed that urge to play and also to make my own contribution sacrifice because leadership, one thing I believe is sacrifice, not enterprise. You know, most of the people get it wrong when they believe it's an um, enterprise, not sacrifice. And uh, leadership, I believe, is you to always be available for the people. So right from when I was growing up, and uh, I've been nursing that ambition to be one of those that make policies that to impact positively in the life of my people. So until when I get to the, my late 20s, then I become more actively participating. Since 2007, I've been playing party politics actively up to now. Which of the, um, so, so, so far, so good. You get any plans in terms of um, 2019 for yourself personally? Yes, yes, yes. I'm, uh, 2019, uh, I'm, uh, you see, politics, I'm, uh, politicians are those who play party politicking. Those who are into offices are beneficiaries. They are benefitors. So I think I have paid my dues by playing party politics for 10 to 11 years. So I want to be one of the benefitors. So I want to give a shot. I want to give a trial. I want to try my popularity. Come 2019, I want to contest. For which of the states? Mm. At the state. You know, but when we say that we want to do something visible, like uh, come out and be one of those that will take um, the helm of leadership, one, you have to be able to test your weight among the people. What do you go say 
will make the people of your senatorial district vote you as a pres as um, their representative in the house. What do you go talk say be your track record? What do you go talk say anybody can see? To put a hand and say, ah, Mr. Ugo, that the guy that we want to be this. Thank you very much. Um, uh, while I enter politics, I enter with PPA. Then, uh, then uh, we are those that ginger people for the party and grow the party without collecting anything. We give selfless service. And uh, when the party was not doing well, we come out to say this government is not doing well again. We didn't make anything from because we don't go there to make money, but we go there to give a good governance. So those records are still there. And in Lagos State, I have been the youth leader of Anis in the Lagos State. My records are there. While well, as a youth leader of Anis in Lagos State, I've been able to connect my people in their various um, states to their licensing officers and to their government. So a lot of empowerment I've gotten from their government through my link and through my influence. And a lot of people, through what we've been doing, have shown interest in politics. It is those that have the like minds with the leadership of this um, group, um, Chief Miss Evelyn, that brought us together. We have all our structure all over Nigeria that come in together to say, this time around, we need to give a shot. So the track records are there. We don't give money, but we impart knowledge. No, but you see, more of which you don't come outside talk. You, you don't, um, for over the years, you don't act as influencers in the sense that you, they help people achieve their political um, dream and political sure. desires. Now, within you as a person don't do, apart from helping people get direct um, access to their liaison officer, which you don't do to the people, to Directly. better the lives of people waiting for inside of your state. Which thing you don't actually do apart from your political influence where you don't actually do on ground? Um, uh, leadership is not giving money, but leadership is, is giving a listening ear. You may have any problem, understand, if I'm open to you and talk to you, that solves the problem first. Now, you believe in a lot of the school of thought when come outside talk, say, yes, would they actually clamor for youths to take part in political affairs, but this youth not get good track records? You believe in that school of thought? We believe that. Say, youth not get good track records? I don't believe that okay. because of why it is so is because of the past leadership we have been having. They don't create that environment for the youth to really, really exhibit what they have. You see, um, when you're talking of how to tackle um, uh, crime, the basic tackle crime is to provide jobs. An idle man is a devil worship. But when you are busy, you can never go into crime. Okay, that is why I, go I like, don't believe in that. I would like to ask you, um, where did they reside? Did they reside permanently? Where be your residing state for now? Lagos, but I shot to Abia State. You shot to Abia State? Yes. So for inside Abia State, what you don't do to the people directly, just as um, we be talk, what you don't do to the people directly, we will not say, now nah, because of you or because say you did there, now you make the people of the local government, the or your state, commu the community. your community, they don't get this particular service, this particular infrastructure, because you did there to follow up up to the later. Waiting be that the way you don't do. What I did is to get the right information from the government and make them to assess the dividends of the governance at every particular time. Because it is only information that everyone needs to move ahead. So as for me, since we have the information, I don't call it, I just give out the information freely for them to assess the information. So what about the structure? Now, we began person inside the studio just last week. I actually appreciate what you they do anyway, but people, they come outside talk, say, in as much as one may youth take over, say the structure still there there. So even though they still end up, we don't see a lot of youth going to um, political seats, and at the end of the day, they're not perform because of the structure. So if they never dismantle the structure, how you hope to achieve good results when you enter the, in the house? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by structure? The, the structure, foundation. the foundation is still filled up with the, with the old, old people where Una, they try to come out from come seat. Out. Um, uh, it's a process. Rome was not built in a day. Understand? Um, uh, we will keep on um, uh, trying. You see, one thing is this. Um, uh, the formation of Nigeria, right from after the coup, that is why we have been having problems. And those who have been there, it just have been recycling. The only thing that will help Nigeria is to consolidate democracy. 
You understand? It is too consolidated that me and you will have interest to start participating. You know, without democracy, someone can be anywhere appoint anybody. But with democracy, we are just um, 20 something years if we are up to understand. It will keep it will it will keep on um, consolidating. Consolidating, then you'll be interested, she'll be interested, I'll be interested in my own locality. And start being close to my people, telling them what I what I can do. Understand what I'm doing. Remember I told you for the election. Uh, votes are being counted now, not like before. Understand? So when you are good, you will come out from your, from your own um, uh, zone and lead their people. And when you do well, they will keep on um, uh, um, uh, uh, following you. Then, and it will replicate in other, um, uh, in other zone. So the point is that the youth, what we are doing is to tell them, come out. Go in there. We will make sure that your vote is counted and you are there. And we are telling everybody, don't allow anybody to import anybody to come and take the responsibility of leadership in every area. In let's take right, the so state closer to you now. So let's just talk about the state, state closer to you. Let's go to Imo State. Now, just yesterday, it was all over the news, say the Imo State gov um, governor don't actually name his sister as the commissioner for, health, for happiness, happiness and couples fulfillment. You feel, say, at this point, we get leaders, we get vision, good <coughs> visions for Nigerians. <coughs> Taking an example from what happened for inside the state. Most state. I'm not here to defend anybody. I don't I think, don't. Uh, um, uh, uh, and that he knows why um, he created that, um, uh, um, uh, that office. But I think even though he's doing bad, other good things he's doing too. Okay. So it is only when you compare and contrast. Without bad, you will not know good. Understand without good, that will not be bad. Understand. So I think in that state, it's also doing its best. Governance is not an easy thing. Mm. Understand what I'm saying? But it's only when you go close, you will really, really understand. We that are playing mm. politics, it's not an easy thing. But when you come close, you will know the real thing. Mm. So okay. everybody will always do what understand he believes that he knows or that is what is right. Understand. But come 2019, we are coming out to tell those who are coming to contest, don't give us empty promises. Uh, it's a social contract. Since it's a social contract, if you don't fulfill it, you are going out. So by 2019, with what you're having on ground, there are going to be a different new crop of uh, leaders. leaders. All right, now, mm -hmm. when they talk about uh, political parties, because you, you talk, say, you know, we start with the current party, where you did, which is there with a different party. And nowadays, they see a lot of cross carpeting. They see a lot of persons, they come out from this party to that party. Now, the question I say for you, why, at some point in time, the first party where you be start with, you notice say something be there wrong. Why if you say people like you when inside the party, no work in making sure, say, those bad eggs when I come out from that party to make sure, say, the party reach the level where it's supposed to reach, rather than moving to another political party, hoping that the vision where you get go there in line with that political party? Yeah, man. You see, I said that we need to consolidate, consolidate democracy. Very true. And the, the kind of law we have does not stop anybody from cross capitalizing. Yeah. Mm. But what matter if you have a vision and have interest, understand, and if you want to achieve it, if the party you are are not giving you the opportunity to achieve that vision, mm. understand, then you can go to other party. For instance, this um, uh, is our group. We don't belong to any party, understand. What we want to do is this. In the, in the federation, we are going to look into any party that are youth friendly, we we'll discuss and negotiate with them. What are you giving the youth? What position are you giving the youth? Any party that agrees with our terms and the, and the agreement, then we, 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 we allow people to go in there and they also make a positive impact. What matters is to make a positive impact at the end of the day. And this group actually gets a lot of youth where they're very interested in political matters. Yes, that is our major concern is we don't need you to come and give us money, but we want to be in the house of House Assembly, National, and even, if possible, we negotiate for Vice President of this country. Mm. You know, when I, I'm listening to you, you sound like a very um, um, intelligent person. We're getting thoughts together. What do you think about lobbying? Because a lot of people see lobbying as something where they bad. But for me, I know it's a political strategy yeah. where people, they take influence other people to do their will. Do you think the youth of today, they understand the nitty gritties of politics? Because it's a different thing when you're an academic uh -huh. and it's a different thing when you're a career politician. In Nigeria, we will not say a lot of people are car We have some career politicians, but uh, it never catch the blend. the blend. What do you think is going to be like in this new dispensation? Um, uh, lobbying is part of politics. Understand? Without lobbying, understand, we can never get it right. 
because no man can do it alone. You can only lobby, understand, on whomever you believe that have the same ideology with you, or whomever you believe that can assist you get there, understand. That is why it is necessary. Lobby must always go on with politicking. Then um, uh, career politics and uh, uh, career politicians, understand, are the real politicians. Understand, they are the career politicians. What happened is this, you see, Nigeria, they, our leaders have been able to take us back and they're not thinking. But now we want to take the step by making sure that we start a process that in, by 2023, there's going to be a change. We're not going to get it right by 2019, but we are going to, we are going to lobby and influence the youth to come out. Do not be afraid. Because we hope to see what thing will actually happen come mm -hmm. 2019. But thank you so much, Mr. Carlo Ugu. We have the president youth no, for honors. The president, um, the national publicity. The national, national publicity, publicity. Yeah. Um, youth for honors and proactive um, governance. Thank you very much. And we wish mm -hmm. you all the best in your political um, journey. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so now so we see um, you see say what they tell you say the youth of Nigeria their head don't they correct everybody don't they come and say this war we go fight her, we go day there together because whether it's good or bad all of us now they experience them. My name no more today Lolo one of every get better day for work. And my name is Simon Uwe Ehigiamu. So join us again tomorrow for another exciting time. Of course, we will give you better stories where they happen for inside Nigeria and the better newspaper review. I remain Luchi in Abong. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I love the way your mind is working. We, we actually, actually, we actually thought it was a president. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.